Hello and welcome to Red Live. I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome evening. Me, I'm doing good and so I got news for you. Our first topic of the day, Real Housewives of Johannesburg has been discontinued. So the other day I did a video that the Real Housewives of Johannesburg star Crystal K has confirmed to news publications that she plans to take actions against fellow star DJ Tira's wife Kuku Kati over an alleged physical assault. Now the reports about the fights which allegedly happened more than four weeks ago at a club came to light over this past weekend. Now it does seem that cast members were informed that the reality show has been canned by the channel and therefore they are now free of the non-disclosure agreements that they had signed. Now, Mnet has also come through and confirmed to Chisa Live that season 3 of the reality show would not see the light of day, citing unforeseen circumstances during production as the reason behind the canning of the show. And we all know by now that the unforeseen circumstances was that beating that was allegedly given to Crystal K by Kuku Kati and Burnett. Now getting back to Crystal, she did an interview with Papers and claimed that the club assault was also caught on camera. This is what she said, Kuku Kati is the one who punched me in the eye, resulting in a black eye. She did this when I was sitting and there was no threat to her. I have evidence to prove this. She is scared about what she has done and is trying to make out a case against me. Now it does seem that Crystal is indeed planning to lay charges against Kuku and another Real House of Johannesburg cast member who she alleges aided and abetted the attack on her. Now Kuku has told her followers on social media that she acted in self-defense. Now Kuku Kati did engage with her fans on her Instagram page. She did not deny the allegations about the physical altercation but claimed that Crystal had assaulted her first. Now responding to a follower who asked why she beat up another woman, Kuku replied Unshae Kala, which means she hit me first. Now apparently Kuku's denial of the altercation between her and Crystal was basically the sole reason behind the show being cancelled. And in light of that, it does seem that Kuku Kati has promised her followers a longer statement but at the moment she said that her legal team was currently working on it. So yeah, this is basically a follow up on that assault story. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor if you are enjoying the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up, it does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Dr. Dumi breaks his silence on fraud allegations. Of course, waking up to some fraud allegations isn't something that you can plan for unless, well, you really know that you are a fraudster. So in saying that, I'd say it's also understandable why someone wouldn't really have a ready-made statement should such allegations come up against them. Now, this is the case of Dr. Dumi who has been trending since the news of his arrest along with his wife made it to public knowledge. Now, Dr. Dumi, who is a medical doctor by profession and a gospel singer by fame, has broken his silence following the uproar on social media. Now he has revealed that his legal team is advising him not to utter a word about the matter as it is currently an ongoing investigation. So Dr. Dumi took to his Twitter account and posted the following statement, Good day fam, hope y'all are well, we are also good. As per legal advice, kindly note that we won't be commenting on the current media reports as the matter is before the courts. Thank you for your understanding and support, love you all and wishing you a great day. So going off that statement, his legal advice that he has gotten is to be silent. Now the reason why they have been trending is because the Hawks did come through and confirm that their couple had indeed been arrested for fraud. There is a statement by the Hawks that reads the following, the couple allegedly benefited approximately 760,000 rands from the funds. They handed themselves into the Johannesburg offices, escorted by their attorney and were subsequently charged for fraud. But moving right along, they were subsequently released on 3,000 rands each. Now according to the Hawks, the couple along with the other two suspects allegedly submitted altered grant application documents to the National Lottery's board for approval of funds on a project all the way back in 2018. Now the case against the accused has been postponed until the 7th of May 2021 for docket disclosure. Can I get an amen because when that spirit of fraud hits you, it hits you hard. Our next topic, EFF Ngozi's support for Dr. Dumi amid fraud allegation receives mixed reactions. So EFF MP Mbuiseni Ngozi's public support for the gospel musician and medical doctor Dr. Dumi has received some mixed reactions on social media. Now yesterday on Wednesday, many 
many were left in shock at the news that musician Dr. Tumi and his wife were arrested for allegedly defrauding the National Lotteries Board, which resulted in over 1.5 million rands being transferred into a private bank account. Now, EFF MP Ndlozi posted the following in support of Dr. Dumi on social media, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now, on Twitter, Ndlozi's support drew some mixed reactions as many accused them of being a hypocrite and not displaying the same energy when it comes to supporting the Hawks in exposing corruption and fraud stars. Here are some of the reactions to the EFF MP's tweet. One user wrote, corruption will never end because we still believe that certain people are not corrupt but certain people are. We spend much time defending our favorites and crucifying those who we don't like. You are no different to ANC Women's League. Ouch. <laughs> Another user wrote, why not wait for the court process? As a leader, what are you saying to your followers? They must defy legitimate legal processes. Would you condone lawlessness if you were governing or you know something we don't? Now, another user actually replied to that reply and wrote, exactly, man, I'm so disappointed by this tweet. Nobody said he's guilty, but if there are allegations, allow the process to unfold so that we can find what the truth is. Another user wrote, so Zuma must be arrested, but when it comes to Dr. Tumi, it's no weapons formed against them shall prosper. Interesting. Yes, indeed. How very interesting. And lastly, a user wrote, if it's their favorites, then it's no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The rest of us, they say, we must prove our innocence in court. Why can't the same apply to Dr. Tumi and his wife? What's with this hypocrisy? But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Our next topic, Miss South Africa Shudu wants to be the president. So the newly crowned Miss South Africa Shudu Fatso recently tweeted about her aspirations to become the president of South Africa and Twitter users seem to have mixed feelings towards her tweet. Now the beautiful Miss South Africa tweeted the following, I want to be president. Now it does seem that after this tweet, the current Miss South Africa has received some backlash from Twitter users who feel that she is not presidential material. Now taking a look at some of the responses to her I want to be president tweet on Twitter, one user wrote, president of bikini bodies. You know what? I'd vote for that. Another user wrote, focus on walking around naked, stay in your lane. Ay, and then you get those on Twitter. Ne? One user wrote, we give a hand, you become Miss South Africa, now you want the whole arm. Yonela? I'm sure by now we all know how toxic Twitter can be, but luckily for Miss South Africa, she does have some fans who adore her and were not taking any of it. They came to her defense, urging her to follow her heart regardless of the naysayers. And shortly after that, there was even a hashtag Shudu for president that started gaining some traction on Twitter. Now, taking a look at some of the responses in support of Miss South Africa, one user wrote, never seen any Miss South Africa being bullied the way Shudu is. Definitely do agree with that. Another user wrote, Shudu, your dreams are valid. You dreamt being Miss South Africa and here you are. Don't let people who don't dream dictate your dreams. Dream when a girl child dream. Another user wrote, y'all are mad cause Miss South Africa said she wants to be the president. Y'all come from homes where women are not supposed to dream big and are allowed to be successful but not too successful because they will be seen as threats. Leave Shudu alone, y'all haven't even brushed your teeth. <laughs> as uh, I pause this video to go and brush my teeth. I am back with my fresh breath and taking a look at one more comment on Twitter. A user wrote, only people that are broken inside will attack our Miss South Africa. Shudu is intelligent, beautiful, confident, and also well-deserved of the title she holds. Hashtag Shudu for president. Bullies always hide their pain by bullying others. So yeah, do let me know, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of Shudu Fato for president of South Africa? Personally, I mean, right now, I'd vote for her. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.